Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going over the artist stained glass in Minecraft. So over here we have ourselves the main palettes you're going to be you would usually see work with in terms of stained glass art. So up here we have ourselves well the blues, which you're going to of course next to them are the different types of lights you would want to probably associate with each type of palette. You have your pinks, purples, your warm colors, your greens, and then your like dark, like blacks and such. So now of course we're going to start by going into the illusions section of this. So like see by layering this this stained glass, you can actually create the illusion of, of depth. See, we have ourselves the warm color palette, and it creates sort of the effect of an artificial lava or fiery lake. Almost like a fumes rising from it, if you might say. If you put the lo actual lava under that, it would really create a nice effect, in my, from what I would think. And you have a similar effect where you have fire or some other ember, like aura, just ramping around a pole. Just. This is basically how you would incorporate into a lot of magical builds. See, I'm into a lot of fantasy building, so this is something you would see often incorporated around like a magical statue or something of that nature. Now, since this is on a topic of stained glass, we also want to cover the thing about stained glass windows. So one thing to take note about stained glass windows is that size matters. The more space you have to make an artwork, the better the end result will look. Now this also means building to scale can be very difficult when it comes to stained glass windows. As you can see, in the smaller 2x2, two two, you can only really make like at most four colors into there. You took one on each corner. And it, then if you move it up, you might be able to make sort of like a crest of some form. Then you go up again, it could almost look like the sun is shining, is just emblazoned on it. Or some other artwork of your own. You can make a tree or landscape. Now, here's another thing. Particle effects. Now, of course, you have the regular particle effects. But this is one that's actually pretty popular in the build, builder community is taking something like what the campfire does, but making it your own, making it look more natural. See, with this, you have all these campfires over, these cobwebs over here. This was the original version of this design. This was commonly seen in the early ages of Minecraft. Now, you would basically take it something like this, some netherrack, put a fire on it, and then you just put a bunch of cobwebs above it. And it creates the direct idea of directional smoke, like the smoke is blowing with the wind. Now you can take this step further by doing this tanned glass. You can see we used all four colors of the dark, like grays. You have the black starting towards the actual center of the thing, and you have that as the center mass. And you move outward, going to the dark grays, then the light grays, then the whites eventually getting the effect of the smoke being blown away and then eventually dissipating. And then you have the, issue, the topic of lighting with stained glass. How do you make stained glass into lighting? Well, here's an example using hanging crystals or floating crystals. So you see we used two of the colors from it to make, and then we put some ochre frog lights in the center. And these are a few examples of what you can do with stained glass in Minecraft. And there's a lot more to do, and you just have to let your mind flow, basically. Now, of course, any of these have so many variants, there's no limit to the possibilities you can work with. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview and tutorial techniques, and I hope to see you in the next one.